In this short video, we'll be looking at how to configure your Brightsign device to connect with Signage Live from its out-the-box state. We're using a Brightsign XD3 player connected to a display using HDMI. It's also connected to the wired network. All the settings are added to the player by inserting a micro SD card which runs the configuration files. We've updated to the latest version of firmware prior to this video, but you can see further instructions in the corresponding article. When you power on your player, you'll be asked to insert the storage device. This is the micro SD card which you'll need to add the config files to. You'll need to update the player's time zone settings. So using your laptop, unzip the time zone config script files to the root of your micro SD card, insert this back into your player and power it off and on again. When your player reboots, you'll see the correct time, date and time zone. Now remove and clear the micro SD card before unzipping the contents of the latest client app to the root of the micro SD and reinserting it into your Brightside player before powering it off and on again. Your Signage Live application will now run and you'll see the player registering with Signage Live before showing the six digit activation code. This should then be activated on your Signage Live network using one of your active licenses and when the player next successfully performs its content check, you'll see the green tick appear to let you know the display has been successfully connected to Signage Live.